Rupees. They're used for upgrading facilities in the Halidom, but they're mainly used in bulk for upgrading your weapons. After the third anniversary drop increases for the majority of the fights in the game, you're more likely than ever to get bottlenecked by rupees when it comes to upgrading weapons for your characters. You've likely come to this video because of that bottleneck. So, what are the main sources of rupees? Well, there's three main sources of rupees. Avenue to Fortune, boss trials of standard difficulty and above, and then the slightly roundabout method of selling Void Seeds. I'll cover the Void Seeds first. Void Seeds drop from Void Battles, with the highest seed to stamina ratios coming from the Chimera fights. In the Treasure Trade Shop, trade Void Seeds for Void Leaves, then trade Void Leaves for Rupees. While you're here though, get Gold Fafnirs. Gold Fafnirs are dragons obtainable through Treasure Trade by trading in Void Seeds. Each fully unbound Gold Fafnir increases the Rupees you receive from a quest by 50%, even when they're equipped on your backline characters for co-op. However, Fafnirs don't have any combat abilities, so please don't equip them on your lead in co-op rooms unless everyone else is okay with it. In solo content, you want to be able to equip as many gold Fafnirs as possible without dropping the clear rate of your quests, as clearing a fight with a team fully decked out in Fafnirs will triple the amount of rupees you receive. With that covered, let's go over boss trials. Those are the High Dragon, Agito, and Sinister Dominion fights. The standard difficulties of the fights have a base rupee rate of 100,000 rupees per clear. This doesn't increase with difficulty, so the standard versions of the fights are the most efficient rupee farm when it comes to the stamina spent per rupee. The next thing I want to show you is this table, courtesy of Cameron on the Dragalia Lost main chord. This table lists out permanent quests in yellow with temporary modifiers in orange rows. If you're purely after rupees, then clearing the Void Chimera fight with an active Double Drops modifier gives you the best rupee return, so long as you're trading in Void Seeds for Leaves, and then rupees. Of course, you might choose to grind one of the standard boss trial fights instead if you're also looking to farm more of the standard difficulty materials. However, temporary events such as the recent Faith Forsaken Raid event, Half Stamina and Triple Drop events can change the efficiency of quests, so it's always a good idea to cross-reference this table in the resources channel of Main Chord. The current best rupee source is Assault on Michael, if you trade in Blazons, as the rupee drops in the Blazon boxes are worth 100,000 rupees each. This is temporary, but hopefully we see future events with this sort of efficiency as well. I've completely ignored rupee mines up until now, and that's mainly because I believe they're a trap. Newer players should definitely upgrade rupee mines to somewhere between levels 20 to 30 early on, as they're a basic source of income until you can clear high difficulty quests. But, once higher difficulty quests are clearable, you should leave later rupee mine levels as one of the last things you upgrade in the Halidom. This is because the later levels of rupee mines cost huge amount of light orbs, which cost stamina to farm. The increased production of the mines is too little to counteract the fact that spending that stamina elsewhere is a better investment. All in all, it's a good idea to maximise your rupee gains when you are inevitably farming standard boss trials for materials by equipping gold Fafnirs. Once you no longer need those and purely want rupees, then turning towards Chimera fights and temporary events is your best bet for maximum income. Be sure to check in on maincord at discord.gg slash dragaliarlost, as the resources channel is kept up to date with rupee farming tables. And that's about it. Leave a comment down below if you need any further clarification, and in the meantime, happy farming. <laughs>